So if you're a bit confused about what's what with Adidas's latest speed boots, the X Crazy Fast, I um I don't really blame you because now the plus has laces and the laceless is a point one and uh, what? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the entire X Crazy Fast range, all the way from the expensive 300 euro plus model to the 260 and 270 euro point ones, the 160 euro point twos, and the 100 euro point threes, to hopefully help you decide which of these models you should get from the link to Unisport right at the end. <music> But um, let's start with the X Crazy Fast Plus, which is kind of the star of the show. But actually, it's also by far the most minimal out of all the X Crazy Fast boots. It weighs 174 grams, so it's, it's really light. And also, it features what Adidas call the Aeropacity Speedskin Plus Upper, which is a, is a pretty cool, fancy name for what is, in essence, a really thin, very open mesh base that's then covered by a single layer of TPU film, so a plastic film. And on the inside, you then have the Aero Cage Plus, which is this suede-like support skeleton that you can see has a lot of these little cutouts to minimize the weight. Now on the bottom, you have the speed frame out, so with this yellow Aero plate insert that offers this really responsive, snappy outsole. And basically, in essence, the Plus is just super thin, it's super light, and it's super thin if you didn't get it. It just has this very sleek, minimal feel to it. Now also, for the first time in, I don't know how many years, uh, the Plus model has laces and also this classic youth throat and standalone tongue, which means that you can actually get a much more adaptive fit where you can tighten it up or loosen the boot as you may need, depending on your foot shape. And it's actually really, really comfortable. Also, of course, you get this slightly lower toe box, more pointy toe box that just adds to this whole slightly more nimble, on your toes, ballet dancing, like very sleek sensation. But then of course it's 300 euros. So you'll need to live with that. But in my book, this is arguably one of the best speed boots Adidas have made since 2014, alongside the speed flows. So it's worth the money. And then there is the Crazy Fast Point One, which is, um, well, there's actually two boots because where the Plus now has laces, the laceless option, which was previously the Plus, has been made into a Point One, which actually kind of makes sense because the two boots here are more or less identical, apart from the fact that, well, you know, laceless and laces. And it just seems like they took laceless model and they punched holes in it and added laces and they have this. Um, which I guess makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is that you pay 10 euros more for the laceless option at 270 euros. So I'm paying more for Adidas to not make holes and add laces. There might be some logic that I don't understand, but you know, I've, it is what it is. Now, on the boots here, you also get the Aero Opacity Speed King and the Aero Cage, but just without the pluses, meaning that the materials are in general just a little bit thicker and not as soft and light and malleable as on the plus. But you still have this mesh base that's a little bit less open, more tightly woven. And then on top, you have two layers of TPU instead of just one. So it's a little bit stiffer at first, needs a little bit more breaking time, but will soften up nicely. On the inside, the Aero Cage is still this suede like material, but it's a little bit thicker and has fewer cutouts. And in general, that's just the whole theme for the boot. It is a little bit more solid, a little bit less extreme. Now, of course, you also get the prime knit collar here to add to more of that one piece sock like sensation. And the good thing is that you also get the speed frame with the arrow plate for that slightly raised toe off, very responsive sensation. And I will say in, in general about the point ones, they do feel like the, the less extreme, less hardcore, and perhaps a little bit more generally appealing version of the Plus, because it also has a bit more volume throughout compared to the Plus. So it's a little bit more easy to wear. And again, once you break them in, they actually become very, very soft. Personally though, I will say that 
if you are already prepared to pay the 260 or 270 euros, I would bite the bullet and just pay the 30 euros more to get the plus, which for me at least is just, it's a way better speed boot. But if a 260 or even 300 euros sounds like way out of your budget, there is also the 160 year old Crazy Fast Point 2. Which again, it kind of follows the same blueprint as the Point 1, but just it's done in a less extreme, more solid and slightly also comfort focused way. So you still have a mesh base, but again, it's a little bit tighter woven. You also have the TPU layers on top, but again, again, you do have, it feels like thicker layers and especially around the toe box here, it just feels a bit more solid and geared towards also protection and durability. That's just the way it goes. Now, the cool thing is that the aero cage on the inside actually seems to be if not the same and very similar to the point one, which is pretty cool. But in general, you just feel that the opera is just a bit more solid to the feel. Uh, it might also mean that, you know, I don't know if you can hear it, but it does feel a little plasticky at first, but just like the point ones, if you give it a little bit of time and patience, a session or two, it will soften up nicely. Now, just like the point ones compared to the plus, there is a bit more room and it's definitely a bit wider here. And also you have a higher heel counter plus a thicker molded insole, a little bit more of a plush, comfortable feel. On the flip side, you, you don't get the speed frame out. So you don't get that aero cage insert. It looks like it, but it's, it's not. The studs though, they have the same shape and position, which is cool. But again, you also don't get this raised toe kind of roll you onto your full foot. So it's kind of half of what you get with the speed frame, but definitely not as sharp as a boot in general. It doesn't feel as speed oriented, but more to give you the same vibe as the crazy fast point ones and the pluses. And I do think that with the upper package, it's a solid option if you can live with what I think are its two biggest problems, the slightly shallow heel and lack of lockdown here. And also the fact that it weighs plus 250 grams. So not exactly a speed boot weight, but apart from that, it's solid for the money. And then there is the Crazy Fast Point 3, which when you get it in hand and on your foot, you do feel that natural step down from the Point 2s because Adidas had to save some cost in order to reach that 100 euro price point. But also to be fair, I don't think the drop in quality is as big as I expected from the point two. Because here you also get this textile mesh base and then you have another coating on top, which is obviously thicker than on the point twos and the point ones and the pluses. But it has to be like that in order to get the support and the structure you need in the upper because there is no aero cage in the point three. Now what you do get is the knitted collar here, which is a lot looser and less tight and elasticated than on point two, probably to make it easier to just slip in and get it on. But it also means that you miss out on this more tight, snug, suck-like sensation. What you do get is also very high, really firm heel and a pretty thick plush insert of foam to just make sure that you just sit in, you're nicely tucked in and just holds you in place. You don't really have to worry about anything with that heel. Uh, thick molded sock liner for a little bit of comfort. What you also get here is the same outsole as on the point two, which uh, is nice for this price point. Um, maybe not so nice for the point twos. But in general, I get the same vibe as I got in the point two, that you want to get that speed boot DNA, but in a more easy to wear, relaxed package. I'm actually positively surprised about the upper here. And especially when you break it and give it a little bit of time, it will soften up pretty nicely and be a good experience. And yes, it's a heavy boot, it's wider, so it's not as sleek or speedy, but given the price point, if you just want a boot that's easy to pick up, put on and play in a relaxed way, I, I think you can do a lot worse than this for the price. So, X Crazy Fast from 100 euros to 300 euros, where there is a little bit to choose from, and it's, it's actually a fairly solid lineup. But, <laughs> there is a but, and that is the fact that 
all of the models have gone up in price compared to the speed pools. And I don't think that the boots are that much better than the speed pools to really justify that price hike. I mean, the Plus is the exception. For me, it's one of the best speed boots again since 2014 alongside the speed flows. And while the rest are definitely good, I think you would have needed a more significant increase in quality or feel or performance to justify the prices going up again. And it's not to the point where I feel that it's completely unreasonable, but uh, I mean, it feels like Adidas are starting to push it a little bit. It's probably not what they want to hear, but I had to mention it. Anyways, guys and girls, with everything I've said about the boots in mind, which model would you go for? If any, well, let me know in the comment section right down below. Remember that you can buy all of the boots in the link to Unisport store right over there. And of course, before you bounce, remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you want to learn some cool skills, well, there's always a playlist in the bottom corner. With those words, I'll be signing off. See you next time. Cheerio.